Hello everyone, welcome to my online lesson. Today we're going to be looking at commercialization in sport. So to start off the lesson, I just want to establish what commercialization is. It's the buying and selling of new products, especially on a large scale. And a product that's been sold on a large scale is the Air Jordans, which were produced by Nike. And it was one of the first trainers that transcended sport. So initially, Air Jordans were made to play basketball in. But because they were so well advertised by Nike and Michael Jordan as well, they also become a fashion accessory. So people would wear them to go out and about as well. And for that reason, it was bought in large scales. And even to this day, it is one of the most successful trainers commercially in sport and also fashion as well. Next, we're looking at the role of media and commercialization of sports. So we need to establish what media is and its methods of communication. So that can be television, radio, newspaper, or more modern forms of media such as Facebook, Twitter. Now, it's important to establish what the media does for sport because it plays a very important role. It does things such as keep supporters better informed of what's happening in sports. It makes it easier for sports to attract sponsorship. It encourages participation. So media can have a very positive uh, role within sports but it can also have a negative role as well so for example it can change the kickoff times of certain sports so they're able to be televised and this can inconvenience your fans that go to the game so media can have a very positive effect on sports but it can also have a negative effect as well Next, we're looking at sponsorship. Now, sponsorship is when a company pays money or provides goods to a team or individual in return for advertising their goods. Now, sponsorship can have a really positive effect on sport because it brings more money into the game. And the more money that comes into the game, the more positive things that sport can do. It can build new facilities. It can increase participation. So you can do lots of good things with that money. But there's also a negative aspect, and it could probably have a very negative influence on the game as well. So, for example, example if you look at the photo on this slide it's of Huddersfield wearing a Paddy Power sponsored shirt now Paddy Power is a gambling company and as we know now many people have a gambling problem so there's a moral question should sports teams be advertising um, gambling companies which could exacerbate problems with people who are addicted to gambling so once again just like the media sponsorship has many positive outcomes but there's also a negative outcome as well that we need to investigate lastly we're looking at the golden triangle and a golden triangle means sports spectators media and business sponsors are all independent which means they all rely on one another and if one of them isn't functioning correctly the golden triangle doesn't work so for example of this Business sponsors rely on fans buying their products. If fans do not buy their products, then that business will probably go out of business. In addition to that, sports spectators rely on business sponsors putting out products that they want to buy. So it's a two-way street. Now, when we're talking about commercialization in sports, we've only scratched the surface in terms of all the information out there. So it's important that you go away and you do your own research. I've just tried to introduce you to a few basic concepts. You'll have to go away and do a bit more of your own work to make sure that you're prepared for your exam. But I hope this lesson has helped uh, and I hope to see you at my next lesson. Thank you.